Hello guys, Woohoo here, back another video, this time around guiding you through the new event we got today, the Splendid Summer 2020. And uh, I'm not going to talk very much uh, about like intro and stuff like that, uh, it might end up so as well, I'm already just blabbering on, but uh, at the end I will talk about some essences. Uh, so if you're looking for that and where to find them and stuff like that, I'll do that at the end of the video because it's not something you absolutely need to do for the event specifically, but there is a costume for you for the Draculite uh, if you do all the essence part of it. So I'll go to that in the end and also show footage and stuff like that about or for how to obtain that. But we're going to talk about the event itself. We are going to uh, kind of familiarize ourselves with some of the, or one of the essence at least, uh, because they want to introduce it. They don't know that I'm making a guide for it or other people are as well So they want to introduce people to this of course uh, as well uh, with the essences and stuff like that But I'll put that in the end of the video because we're gonna focus on the uh, event itself So uh, step number zero, I'm just gonna talk about it right here before we get into step number one Step number zero as it is is that you have to be level 10 mastery to obtain this event uh, I don't think you need to be level 10 mastery to do the essences, but uh, you definitely do need to be level 10 to uh, get on to step number one. So if you have a confetti ball in your inventory, that means that you have step, uh, completed step number uh, zero. And you can then also see that I am on step number one over here that I will explain in a little bit. But uh, save your confetti ball because it's one of the steps. So uh, let's just jump into step number one. All right, so step number one is to change your look in the barber shop, and you might not know about this, or you do. Uh, well, an older player might have forgotten all about the barber shop because it's not something we use very often, and it's a very simple step. But uh, in our club world, we do have a barber shop right here. I'm not going to use it quite yet because I want to show you guys. In this one is where you, I'm pretty sure you can craft it somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Right here you can craft it yourself if you want to have one in your cornerstone or on in your uh, club world. But there's also one in the hub, which I'm going to show you as well, and we're going to use that one instead. Uh, so you can you don't have to have a club world or a craft it yourself. You can just go to the hub and there is one as well, and it's right over here. So you take a right over toward the Delve house. Also, you got the, you know... The, the other house, or what, uh, the PvP house right there, and there is the barber shop as well. So we're gonna use that, and uh, you don't even have to change it, you just have to open it up, and that's gonna complete your, you, if you can change your uh, style if you, uh, you know, if you were like, oh, I actually have some new styles. There's a lot of new styles in here, by the way. Uh, so you might wanna check out, and you can actually get some really cool, uh, you know, styles, basically for free, if you don't uh, have much of any style at all. But that was uh, step number one, and we can head into step number two. All right, so step number two is to throw confetti balls, and that's why I said save your confetti ball uh, when you uh, get the 10 mastery or you ever have it, because it's gonna save you a little bit of crafting recipe, uh, uh, crafting materials, that's sorry. Uh, we are still in the hub, but some people still have their Radiant Day Spring in their, uh, you know, in the club worlds and all the cornerstones and stuff like that. And I have it, uh, what is in the, uh, in the hub, and we're gonna use that one right here. You can actually see the guy actually already have it right there. But the Radiant Day Spring is where we're gonna craft, uh, so it's gonna save you 100 glim, but that's where you're gonna craft the confetti ball. So we're gonna craft four, because I already had one in my inventory. So this one, you have to throw them before you get them. So I was gonna throw them, see that, that was, that was, that was one. I throw one more, two, three, four, and five and that is going to complete you uh, step number two not too shabby out uh, step so we're already done with that one and we can head into step number three step number three is to check out the radiant day spring we just did that so i don't know why it's reversed i would have put it in the other you know on the way but that doesn't really matter but all you have to do is then use the uh, radiant day spring again or open it again and it's going to complete your step number four so I don't know why they would do it the other way around, but I guess in some way you could also buy confetti balls off the marketplace, or if you had something like, if some of them lying around for like another event or something like that, you didn't really have to do so. So step number three was not uh, too hard, but we are gonna get into the little bit more uh, of the harder steps, if you could say it like that. Uh, but we are gonna head into step number four. 
All right, step number four is to craft one of these, uh, I think it's called uh, prismatic essence, and that's like the building stone for all these essences. So that's kind of the first step to, to obtaining this, uh, you know, uh, costume and these different essences and stuff like that. I kind of like how they did the essences, and I'll explain, like I said, in the end of it. So Radiant Day Spring is right here. We got to use that because we got to go down to the uh, prismatic section. We are in the, you know, the one we just had before, and we have to craft one of these. It's going to cost you a pearl of wisdom, and these are, uh, you know, for defeating enemies sometimes, and also when you collect. Uh, you know, certain, uh, for example, Stellars. Stellars has uh, sometimes uh, pearls attached to them already. And then when you loot collected, you get these pearls back. Also, if you have some pearls on your gear, you can craft or get those back if you want to do so. But you can buy a pearl on the, uh, if you don't have any access to it, you can buy it on the marketplace. I don't think they're very expensive. Uh, they're quite common uh, right now. They might go up a little bit in price because people need them for here, but you only need one. And you don't really need, I don't think you need more uh, than that for these. I haven't done these, of course, essences myself, but what I know about the essences is you need like different things, but um, it might have this one to uh, use to, but I'm pretty sure this is just the, the first step and then you go through all the steps and then you're going to have the costume at the end. But that's not really it. We are going to craft one of these and if you need more of them, you can, of course, craft them. Uh, I don't know what the else cost. I'll have to see that when I go through uh, this myself. But of course, we are going to just going to craft one of these these uh, essences, and that is going to be you know us completing step number four. So now we can get into step number five. All right, step number five, I've already done because I had to do a little bit of testing because it said you can only have it for 30 seconds. So basically what I thought this was, was kind of like a, basically a hint thing, but it is, as you can see in the, uh, in the checks, text box that I have down there, it says my home is the hub. It's because you have to find it in the hub. So basically step number five is just to uh, use one of these essences and it's going to help you uh, find where the crafting bench is so you can craft these essences and stuff like that. And I'll get into more of the, about the essences uh, later on, but this is basically just step number five just to use it. But you kind of have to be a little bit quick about it to uh, have the essence and it's going to help you for 30 seconds only or until you switch worlds, as it says. So you, if you switch worlds before 30 seconds, it's not it's gonna basically remove itself so uh but it's gonna be there like i said for um for 30 seconds so just use it as step number five and we can head into step number six all right so step number six is to explore the hub or more precisely find a specific spot that it's in and i tried to use it a few times just to see how it worked the essences and i got the clue that my home is the hub and I love the lava under my chin. So I know, I, of course I know where it is, but that's the clues that you have to use to find it. So if you, you want to do it yourself, you should probably not watch this. You just do it yourself and see what the clues are going to be and you can do it yourself. But the point is that over here is the Radiant Day Spring. Here is the center of the uh, hub as you spawn in. Over there is the Delve House. Right here is where Luxian uh, spawns on the every 14 days, right? And under the chin of the Dragon Crucible guy over here, there is lava. So if you jump down here, you can see down here is lava. And before we get any further, uh, the crafting be uh, bench is right behind the head of the dragon there. You can see what your use button is because you have to do uh, this where you go up here and you go up to the eye and you use your E button. I can't do it right now because I have no essence on. So don't use your essence too uh, fast because you have 30 seconds this is on you and that's the only time you can uh, interact with the crafting tables. So uh, you can of course pop as many as you want, but you only have 30 seconds to interact with it. So I can't interact with it. As you saw, I couldn't see it. I couldn't find it. There was no like, hey, this is right behind here because of uh, me you know, basically haven't consumed this. So you have to have this and the es other essences as well as we go through that. But I just wanted to show you guys the use button because it's a very good idea to know what it is. And of course, E is on PC or whatever you binded it to. I'm pretty sure you can't change bindings. Uh, I don't think you can, can you? No, oh, you can, you can, you can change it. So it, I don't know what it is on, it could be different from yours or whatever if you want to. Also, it's of course different on consoles and whatnot, but let's consume 
hit essence and actually it says i love the lava under my chin as well so now i have 30 seconds to use this and there you see i was right there so just go up exactly in the corner and you can see i can use it again and there i can craft the uh, red one which i'm also going to do so so i crafted the red one and because i need it for the, the next steps of that so i'm just going to use it right now because like as you can see up here is the buff for 30 seconds and i need this for uh explaining the essences which i'm going to do uh after uh, step number seven is completed so and of course uh we're gonna do go into step number seven as of right now Okay, so step number seven is to earn 25 dragon coins and you can get these dragon coins, of course, during the hourly challenge. You can also get them from the store. I'm going to show you right here. If you use 750 uh, cu uh, cubits or the ones you get for your daily, if I use that, if you want to buy, yes, five, you can see purchase complete. You can see five up here and I'm pretty sure you can also get them from all the uh, boxes that give dragon coins normally so I write in here I'm gonna show you say lesser dragon catches I'm just gonna use one of them and I'm pretty sure it's also going to work but I don't know but I haven't tried it so here we get one dragon coin let's see if that worked yes it did now I'm on six so if you have a bunch of these I recently actually just used all of mine uh, but if you have a bunch of these lying around you can just get your dragon coins from there or of course you can also get them from the uh, what's it called from the greater dragon caches if it's some of those you have lying around but uh, I'm just probably gonna buy mine but uh, I would of course very very much re recommend you to do the outlet channels because you really don't need to get this done so fast you know there's no the amount you have already gotten the only reward you get is from step seven to seven here is to get 25 dragon coins dragon coins is nice uh, but I would much rather have you just do the hourly challenge uh, when you get to 20 mastery, these all the challenges are going to show up for you, of course, if you're not that high on mastery, but uh, uh, that's that's much better. You don't have to rush this step at all. Uh, but if you want to, I just showed you guys a few uh, ways to do it. If you want to just get it done, you can do so. I'm definitely going to buy the dragon coins because I have so much of these. But again, I would really recommend you to just um, to just do the all challenge. It's not that many. You get a you get a lot of and coins from that so especially on fridays of course so uh that was the guide in a little bit i will switch over and i will talk in each about every single uh, essence as i do them myself and you guys can follow along if you want to do these essence as well but this was the uh first part or the guide part of to the uh event itself so next up is the essences all right, guys, so we are now doing the essences and the first essence we are doing is, of course, the orange one. We did the red one, as you can see right in here. I am on the red one and actually gets you 10 mastery. It is pretty nice. Uh, it costs you one dragon coin to craft one of these. So it's a really good idea to have some lying around. I do have a bunch of them uh, and it's also you don't have you can craft a, a few of them if you want to you still have only that 30 seconds to to f interact with the next crafting table. Uh, but I'll just, I'm going to show you where it is, so you probably don't have to use it to to that that many times. But uh, you know, uh, you can craft as many as you want, of course, it, depending on how you are going to do. But uh, I'm going to show you now where the location of the uh, orange essence is. All right, so I found this place already. I was pretty lucky finding it already. I actually spawned in right as you can see right here. But right here is the spiral case. You have to uh, go down. It basically looks like this. Sometimes it's more exposed than others. Maybe it's just sometimes a little bit of a, a hole and then it basically goes down. This is also where you're gonna find some of the Leviathans. But basically you just go down this whole spiral case and I'm in U8, as you can see right up there. So it spawns in all the diff different um, biomes, or the uh, different biomes, the different uh, uber worlds or the different geo top signs. And so basically what you do is just you run all the way down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm probably going to cut some of the footage here when I get down to the bottom. All right, we did make it to the end of the spiral. I actually found another one because the other one was actually a dot. So, but uh, when you get to the end, I actually bombed quite a lot. But uh, as you can see, I'm right at the end here. Uh, it gets very, very small. 
and then at the end you just bomb away a little bit i found mine right over here as you can see the flowering is right here so i cannot interact with it at all and also be careful with your bombs be careful with your bombs guys that you can explode this but i cannot interact with this one because i do not have the essence on at the moment so i'm just going to be very careful removing my bombs so i don't do those but i do have to use the red essence i sh only brought one i should have probably brought another one but i'm going to use my essence and down down around the ghost and i should be able to interact with this one right now and there you go. And there is the orange front of knowledge. So this is the one you need. And then you can just go into, uh, you can see it, it, it collects into the uh, knowledge of the red essence. So I'm going to learn it there. That's 10 mastery points. And you are done with the orange. And we can now head into the yellow one. All right, guys, now we can craft, of course, the orange one and we can uh, then get the yellow one. So first we have, of course, we have to craft the orange one. So I'm going to craft one of those. These cause the blazing and these are uh, some very common uh, crafting materials that you can get in the Geo Caves. Also, I might get some in the Delve. I'm not sure, but you can definitely get them in the Geo Caves. And if you don't want to farm it, you can just, of course, buy that off the marketplace. But I'm going to craft one of these. Uh, so we have one of these. And what you have to do to get the yellow one, you actually need a, you actually need a Ganda. And I think this is a pretty silly step, to be honest. But, you know, this is how they did it. And I, I, fortunately, I know some people that has a Ganda. But if you don't... It, it's it, that's kind of kind of suck I, I actually have to say it's pretty suck but uh to today is actually the uh, like you know it's uh you know gathering day so many people do their um many people do uh what's it called ganda trains so you can actually use it on there because what you have to do and i made a little ghetto ganda trail right here this is just a, a regular or uh, yellow blocks but what you have to do is that you you know consume the orange essence and then you basically just look at uh the the trail that the ganda makes it doesn't have to be a trail just the blocks that the ganda makes and you just hold in your e uh, you click the e button on that uh, uh course that block remember to use your essence first and then interact with the block that is not going to really say that it's there but you just have to interact with it when you have consumed it and you have 30 seconds again to do so so maybe craft a few just to be in uh, sure that you are going to do it unless you are like talking to the person or whatnot so uh, you only have 30 seconds to interact with it so craft a few of them and uh, the crafting material is not that terrible but yes you just have to look uh, look at it and then use your your e interact button as we talked about earlier the e button for pc and probably x i think for uh, playstation or something like that but uh, yeah uh, you just have to interact with it and that you are going to get your uh, yellow essence that we can do so so a little bit of a silly step because you need a ganda to do so but again you can tr join one of these ganda trains uh, they're all over the place and you can just ask people around if you know a few and stuff like that uh, or join you know to your top worlds or, or something like that but it's a little bit silly to you have to have a ganda to do so but um yeah that's the step and we'll well i'm basic we're going to move on to the green essence all right so i was lucky enough to find somebody uh well i knew a few but a uh, shout out to rika uh, one of uh other streamer and content creator that's out there but th this person actually does have a ganda and person is just standing afk here kind of helping out people and whatnot so i'm going to uh, use uh, my orange essence and i'm going to interact with one of these blocks underneath the ganda that he is standing on right there so using it and it i'm shimmering and cannot be destroyed no they cannot be destroyed and i actually didn't even have to i just had to look at it i just had to be next to it and we got the same thing the not the yellow knowledge uh, front thing so uh yes so this is the one we need for that so i'm gonna consume this and i'm gonna thank rika for uh whoop, <laughs> for uh you know uh you know letting me uh use his uh ganda to do so so thank you so much and uh let's move on to the green essence all right we are now doing the green essence and of course we need to do the yellow one up a craft the yellow one first and it costs you a thousand flux to do the yellow essence so i'm pretty sure like kind of this is kind of the crafting materials for this costume kind of seems like it is but uh we'll see in the end when we get there but we're gonna craft one of these uh yellow essence and depending on how much flux you have of course uh you can you know can't craft too many of these next thing you have to do is you have to craft 
a, uh, a, a green flower th uh, pip, I think it's called, and then you need a green torches nearby, and then you have to mine it while you have the yellow essence on. So I will just show you guys where you are going to uh, get these uh, different things. So first you are going to use the, uh, where's the Highland? The Highland workbench is right here. You have to craft a regular torch. Just a regular torch, you have to craft one of these, cost you some ore and some flame. Do that, done with that. Then you have to go to the Fey working bench because it, need, it requires you to have one of these torches and these primal four lames and a green, a primal green. I don't know if you need more than one. Uh, I'm gonna try with one, but we do need to make a green torch. It does say uh, in the guide or the people that did it before uh, said that it was uh, you know, going to be more, they said torches you know, uh, multiple, but uh, we are just going to try with one. So I'm going to try one of these. And now we have to go over uh, to the gardening uh, place and we have to craft. Let um, me see, there's the gardening bench. We have to go underneath a uh, dappler. And the, here is the green uh, fern flower pip. That's where it is. This is what you need. You need to do some rich fertilizer. Uh, of course, uh, if you don't know how to get rich fertilizer, sunlight bulbs and stuff like that, uh, I do have guides on the channel. You know, we can check that out if you want to do so. But uh, you know, uh, these are probably people that already know how to get it. And sunlight bulbs you can get, and the fairy, uh, fairy dust you can also get uh, from that. I'm pretty sure you can also get rich fertilizer. Can't you get? Let me let me see. Actually, I'm not sure if you can. Uh, let me see. Any rich? Uh, oh, I collected. Sorry. Yeah, you can get rich for last. You can get it all on the marketplace. Fair enough. You can get all of it, all of it on the marketplace if you want to do so. So no uh, issues with that at all. So we're gonna craft. You can actually get five of these. So uh, yeah, we're gonna craft five of these. And now comes the part that I haven't tried myself before, but we are going to go into, uh, of course, go into build mode here, and we are going to get our stuff around. Uh, so we're gonna get a green torch. I don't know if there's, I don't think there is like a specific way you have to place them down. I'm not sure we're going to do this together and we're going to see if this is how it's going to work. So I'm just going to place down five around here and there we go. And I'm hopefully these are going to sprout. I actually didn't check how long these took to sprout. So I will go over here and I will check that out while we have it. Uh, it doesn't say anything at all. Actually, it doesn't say any sprout time. Doesn't it normally say sprout time? I'm pretty sure it does uh, normally, but we'll go over here and we will see. Uh, maybe you just have to mine it. I'm gonna mine one of them with the essence on uh, just to see. That's what they say. It doesn't say wait or anything like that. So I'm gonna use the essence before. You can you can uh, you know use your this before, but you're not gonna you know do anything. So I'm gonna use my essence. I've done it right there. Uh, also, it says I crave veggie light. Okay, so you're gonna see like that. Uh, okay, nothing happened. Uh, nothing happened. Okay, so okay, uh, it might have to sprout, but I don't know how long it takes though. Let me. Can I get you back and see how long it is? Because I do. Oh, sprout four hours. There it says four hours. Okay, great. We knew. I didn't know that. So four hours. Uh, and then they can do so. But I have a little trick that I can use. First of all, I have to get a new essence. So let's do that. Uh, so this step is gonna be a little longer because I didn't know how to do it. So we're gonna get another essence. And I do have in here, I have some instant growers. So we can uh, skip, uh, or not skip ahead, but we can do it a little bit faster. So I'm gonna place down this last one as well, just to uh, make sure. And then I'm going to use the instant torch, uh, not instant, instant torch, but the instant uh, growers. And there it goes. And there it sprouts. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, well, we don't have to throw that away right now. So now I'm going to use the essence. So we're using the essence and I'm getting there. And you can see I'm getting all these, all these uh, green knowledge thingies instead of what I needed. So I actually got five of these. So you just have to put down one and it doesn't matter with the torch, but you, or how many torches you have. It does matter that you have the torch. So yes. And also it says near torches, I thrive. So it, it, it maybe it doesn't have to be a specific, uh, but we do get a cool green glow, don't we? With having this essence on for 30 seconds. That's pretty cool. Actually. I didn't, I didn't see that before. So you can actually have a cool, uh, uh, thing, but you can actually learn this and then you know the green essence uh, Oh, you just have to wait four hours as we did before and yeah, that is basically how you're going to do the green uh, Essence, so let's on head on to the blue one
All right, guys, we are now ready to make the blue essence. And before that, we, of course, we have to make the red essence. Oh, sorry, the green essence to get the blue essence. And you need sunlight bulbs, 10 of them to uh, craft one. And you can get these on the marketplace if you don't have some. Or you can just go to a peaceful world and then you're probably going to get some pretty quick, like just 10. So uh, we are going to craft one of these uh, like so. And then I'm going to fi uh, find the... Uh, place where uh, you have to have the crafting bench to get the blue essence. But before you leave, uh, make sure you get you have some deep sea dragon fragments with you. If you don't have, you can farm them at the place where we're going. But if you have some in your chest already, as I had, uh, you can just uh, bring them along and uh, yeah, you get them. So uh, let's uh, find the crafting uh, bench. All right, guys, we now found the lair of the deep sea dragon. And if I look at the map right here, this is what the area looks like. You have to find this very dark blue patch. As you can see, the, all the patches are different. Uh, but uh, this one, and you can see the this is a, just regular uh, Iceland, or sorry, pirate Iceland or Iceland biome. Uh, but down here, that's the one we are uh, looking for or uh, looking at. And you can see there is the mark also of this one. And you just have to enter, uh, basically go to the bottom of the sea. And there is this, uh, you know, area under the sea. And there's this portal. You use that one to get in. That was the portal to get out. And then you bomb the one of the corners. Uh, I think they might have hit the right one at the right time. But you either, when you've defeated the dragon, of course, it's going to give you uh, deep sea dragon fragments. And you're going to get more on Friday. So if you were doing this on Friday, you get more dragon fragments or so you need this to craft the, the essence with but we are in the here and somebody already uh, defeated it i was just lucky enough to get invited into here but they then bombed in one of the corners here and they got into the crafting bench and since you can't you, you can't use the crafting bench you cannot uh you know uh, interact with it unless you use the essence again so i'm going to use my green essence and I can now interact with it and you can see, I actually, oh, you don't even have to have the fragments with you. You can just have them in your inventory and I can craft the uh, blue essence right here. So I thought you had to have the essence with you, uh, but you don't have to, you just have to have enough to do so. And then we, of course, we make, uh, we get 10 mastery points for collecting this essence here. And it says bombs away, bon voyage, actually. So pretty cool that, so that, um, see, I can still interact with it. Uh, see, it should be running out right now. Okay, so now I should be not, yeah, now I can, and I'm not able to, to do so anymore. So, yes, that was, uh, you know, the blue essence. So now we can head into the purple essence, which is also the last one essence that we need. So I'll see you in the club world. All right, we are now in the club world and we are about to craft the blue one. And the blue one is uh, actually grayed out. And I was like, kind of weird why it was grayed out. But you actually need water to get so. So how do you get water blocks, I guess, or get sources? And you need five of them. You go to, of course, your uh, old gardening bench and you make water sponges. And you make five of them. It costs you, of course, a mushroom chunk and some glim. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to be back, uh, or I'm actually going to show you guys, when we go to a drowned world, that's also where you find the blue, deep sea blue ones areas. I didn't mention that before, so I'm sorry I didn't do that. But in here, that is where, of course, you're going to find, uh, you know, that area that we were talking about before. But you have your sponges, you just throw them in the water, and you're going to get water blocks back. And you don't have to throw them like I did, but that's that's basically how you do it. And we're going to go real quickly back to the club world again so we can craft our um, so we can craft our blue essence. So that's how you get your water blocks and it should be right there. Yes, we can craft one. And I will again suggest you get more, but I'm pretty confident in what I'm doing. <laughs> and if I make any mistakes, I'll just cut it out of the video and it will just be there. But now we're going to head in and find the blue, uh, the purple essence, which is not that hard to, uh, actually the step is not pretty, uh, very hard to do, but uh, it does take a little bit of time. So I will find it and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are now at the old portal or the old alpha place. And there is an adventure a room, a portal right here. You got to enter this one if you want to uh, go here. But it is going to the hub. And then you are basically just going west, all the much west as you can go all the way out here. And you are going to find it. There is basically a, a, a gate at the original or the hub we have now. And you just take that one and you just keep at the course and you're are going to go out into the sea of regret and you're actually going to take damage but uh, i think you can be over water i was just in the water all the time and i just used my death defying to to go through it 
and we are going to go through the maze and we're going to have to find a Kevin guy that is apparently not dead. So we are going to enter uh, the adventure portal and see what going to happen. Uh, we should go through some kind of maze to um, to get to the crafting table that we need to do. So it's not that it's super uh, hard or anything like that. Uh, Okay, so we got through the portal and I have never been here before so uh, I had to look around and do a few things and look at a few uh, old stuff to actually figure out how this world actually ha or works. So basically what you do is that you take your cornerstone as you can see me doing right here in a second. I'm going to put down my cornerstone. Uh, if it doesn't work for you the first time this here, you uh, just move your cornerstone to another uh, place on the map. But basically all you do is go all the way to the bottom, doesn't matter how your cornerstone looks, but you just have to go all the way down, use your laser to go all the way down and then bomb your way a little bit through here. A really good uh, idea is to basically take out the hole here until you see uh, that orange. When you start seeing orange blocks like that, that means that you have uh, found the maze as it is. And there's a lot of skulls in there and the one uh, is gonna, probably gonna take you a little bit of time to get in finding the one that Kevin, but take out the whole bottom there and then you can easily move your cornerstone around and go down to the bottom, see if you're, uh, find the maze through that. So uh, I'm about to uh, jump up here. I think, I think I'm, I'm speaking a little bit here. I lost the audio on this one, but I'm basically just explaining it afterwards. And basically I'm just saying, take off all the uh, blocks that I did here. And now we're basically looking for Kevin. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for me to <laughs> realize that actually I thought like every skull was going to be Kevin, but basically it's all old players or old devs. I think it's also, or uh, community members in some ways and stuff like that. So you just have to find the one that says Kevin. It should be there somewhere. I think we found us the, not this one, but that one right there says Kevin. There you go. And it says quite not, uh, not quite dead yet. And so how you do this is basically you find this one, you use your essence, the, uh, but you do have to be quick, a little bit quick at least, uh, because you have to use 10 uh, Heart of Darkness. So if, before you use your essence, you do have to uh, acquire these. You can get them on the marketplace. If you're really quick, you can get it uh, doing that. You can open up. As long as you have this crafting thing open, uh, you can interact with it even if the 30 seconds are down. You can still do that. So, But you do have to be quick, and I would uh, suggest that you actually get... Uh, the, the Heart of Darkness actually uh, before that. If you don't have any Heart of Darkness, get them to the Marketplace or you can get it from Shadow Caches. And of course you could get Shadow Caches from Shadow Shards that you can get in the Delves and, and so on. So just a little bit extra information. So I'm about to wrap up here. So let's head in to the, uh, to the next essence. All right, so it's time to uh, craft the purple essence so we can get our costume and you do it by crafting this and this of course getting use or you use a pentasol and pentasols are from five uh, level five shadow items and you can of course craft your uh, shadow items up to five and then loot collect them or you can just get them on the marketplace they're very very cheap very very cheap uh, so we're gonna craft this essence the purple one and we're gonna head into a fey biome or a medieval highlands biome uh, the fey biome has both of them and the one is indicated with like a tree icon the other one is a little bit purple uh, so we're just gonna or sorry uh, get dark green sorry the purple one is of course the cursed biome that's not the one we're like but you can go just go there gonna have to find the three star dungeon and i'm gonna explain that in a little bit uh, when we find it and you can see what it looks like all right, so I found a dungeon. It's a three-star one. It looks like this big tree with a bunch of other things, and you have to find the crown. It's either on the worm there. Uh, this guy actually thinks that it's actually done, but it is actually not. I'll show you guys when it's comp actually it's not there. Uh, there is chances of you finding uh, this one uh, without the worm and without the turtle. I'll show you the turtle in a little bit. The, the, of course, there's only one crown on each of them. Sometimes it could also be inside, actually, uh, the log. But if I wouldn't look for it any. I just, I've seen it on the worm there, on that head, and, of course, on the head of the turtle. 
and I don't think uh, there's oh yeah I, yeah I found it right there yeah you can see it over there uh, I'm just trying to jump up to see where it's on the left mate mate it's oh no it's right there sorry I thought I'm looking actually on the other way so that's the turtle and if it's on that head of course it can also be like that but since it's on the you know on the uh, I'm sorry on the on the worm there it's not going to be up there so how you are going to get this is a little bit tricky uh, i i messed it up a few times so yeah it took me a while to get this video done but what you do is that you go into build mode uh first you pop your essence and then you go into build mode and you basically just laser it and i'll show you guys how it's done of course because i'm going to do it as we see right here uh but uh that's basically how you do it you just uh pop your essence uh, more than one person can actually get this, but they have to pop the essence at the same time. So if you pop your essence, oh, well, you have 30 seconds, right? But in that 30 seconds, you pop your essence, multiple people, uh, maybe up to eight people. I don't know if there's more, but uh, I was only the only one there, but I've heard other people do that. So you go into build mode by hitting your tap button or whatever it is. And of course, use your uh, essence first because you can't use your essence from the build mode. So you pop your essence, you go into build mode and then you laser it. So I was a little nervous because it took me a while to get this. So it, I'm a little bit, uh, takes a little bit of time for me to actually go to do that. I was very nervous to do this because I didn't want to mess it up at all so i pop my essence i use my laser and there you go there is the last of the of course you have to go back and build mode but the ultimate uh prismatic knowledge which is the last one and i was i was really nervous <laughs> actually popping it but we actually did get it there so we got the last of the essences done and we're gonna head back into the club world All right, so we are back in the club world and we can now see what the costume is going to cost us. And it is going to cost us every single of the essences. Not the very first one though, but all the color essences. And it's actually pretty cheap. And uh, it's my point is that you can probably only craft this once a year or while this event is going on. So I don't think it's the most prettiest costume that's out there. Uh, I do like the costumes I'm using for the Dragonlight. I'm using like a pinata one. Uh, but I do think that it's a good idea to craft it now because it's pretty, I would say it's pretty cheap to do all the essences. Uh, so I did that and I kind of put it on and stuff like that. I, the ultimate looks really good, but it, it the costume itself don't really uh, fancy my boat. But the ultimate is pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, I just wish the normal costume would be a little bit better but that is basically the whole thing i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's one of the longer ones but it also took me a very long time to get all these essences done remember everything uh made a lot of mistakes during the uh, like during the whole thing so i really hope you guys are gonna give this uh, video a like it would help me out very much and super much appreciate all the hard work i actually put into this video i know i don't really ask for likes normally but this one actually took a lot of time and I do appreciate you guys all the way or if you watch all the way to here and I hope it helped you and you didn't make any mistakes as I did or it, at least it helped it. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching this much and I will catch you in the next guide. Bye.